Carol Norby here. You're at my Facebook page, Stampin' Carol Lots of Crafty Goodness, or you're on my YouTube channel. As I was just kind of browsing Pinterest a week ago, I came across a very unusual waterfall card. And I thought, now this is uh, cool. So I decided to give it a try, and it is really easy. This is, you use... A lot of the directions I have on my September 9th, 2021 video and September 9th, 2021 website page, stampincarol.com. So the only difference are the panels. So I will flip the phone over and we'll get started. Hang on. Okay. Can you believe that is a waterfall card? I got to get this a little bit better there. I got some spot on my phone. So this, this is it. You say, how is that a waterfall? There's your pull. But it is. It just, there it goes. Isn't that cool? So the difference is all the panels end at the same spot. So I'll get started. Oh, by the way, this card uses these great papers. I use two papers from Whimsy Stamps Designer Pack called um, Farmhouse. I just love them. I just got it in. I used uh, Pick a Fence Studios uh, One Hot Chick. I got this from scrapbook.com. I also purchased the coordinating dies. And then the sentiment came from scrapbook.com sentiments for every occasion. If you look it up, if you search for it, you have to have the S on the end of sentiments because there is a different set that says sentiment for every occasion. So these are the products I used. And then I stamped using an assortment of Distress Oxide inks. So we'll get started. So I'll set this up here. So I started with... I, and this is a card front, and then I put it on a card base. So my card front was four and a quarter by five and a half. Try to get some of these things undone. This is my uh, holding mechanism, and I basically came up one inch from the bottom. So I'm going to just match it up here so you can see. Because where you place this holding piece will determine the length of your panels. So here is my, my uh, mechanism. This is, and I'm going to figure it out here, this is 9 inches, 9 inches by an inch, by 2 inches. And I scored, oh golly, I can't remember, I'll have to look it up. I think it was, well, I scored at... Four and three quarters. <laughs> I'll just grab a ruler so we can see it easier. Get this over here. So I lay this out right here. Mark, ma mark, match it up. Four and three quarters, five and a half, six and a quarter, and seven. Or if you're going the other direction. <laughs> You just figure it out. So if you're going from, from right, left to right, I scored at, whoops, well, same thing, whatever. So this is going to slide under here. You're going to add adhesive across the bottom here, center it, and that's going to adhere on your holding mechanism. So I need to add a little bit more. But before you do all this, here you can see I decorated my background. This piece here, before I adhered this, I decorated this. I used brads. I find brads to work better than tape. Uh, so, And then I also decorated this piece, but I found out that when I pull this down, and I'll show you, It hung up right here, 
So I added another little piece of paper underneath there, leave a little bit of room for the fold, and it'll work. You just have to play with it. So we'll get this on here for now. That's not centered, but I'm just giving you the basic idea. So from here is where I measured my distance. So this particular piece came out to, I did it a little wider, three and a four, three by four and a quarter would be my first panel. And it's going to adhere on the first panel. The next panel was three and by three and a half. The next panel, two, three by two, where is it? Two and three quarters, it's there somewhere. They were all, it all worked out. Something doesn't look right there. And three by two. So, like I said, you're going to, this, I don't know what happened to this, and this one doesn't look right. It looks like it should be two and a half. So, anyway, I can mess up too. I found some ribbon to match my background paper, and I was off and running. So the hard part is basically figuring out your design. Now, I found this one easier to figure out because I had a bigger panel. So I could basically make my sizes work. Isn't that cool? You are one hot chick. Now, this fun stamp here, this is one that I had made. Um, let's see if I can grab it here. Have to reach under. This is one that I had made that I got the blank from Spellbinders quite a few years ago and added my own colors to it to make a rainbow color. So I thought I just had to do that. The only thing I have to do is I have to slightly fold, curl just ever so lightly and everything goes right back together. Isn't that cool? So, I will flip this back. So, I hope you give this a try. It's really quite easy just getting your measurements of your panels, but you have to assemble, you know, the, um, the uh, holding piece and the mechanism. Of course, you're going to decorate a lot of that before, and that's where you get your measurements. So, anyway, that is it for today. This was easy. I will not be here next week. Next Monday, we are uh, painting and reflooring our bedroom and master closet. It's going to take two days. I have some drywall that needs patched. So Saturday we'll, we'll take everything out of the bedroom. <laughs> everything out of the bedroom and everything off the floor in the closet. And it'll take them at least a couple of days, probably two good days, to fix it, uh, to repair it. And then we'll probably spend most all of Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday, Thursday, <laughs> getting our bed put back together. We have a, a sleep number bed with under drawer dressers, so we have to really be precise in our measurements to make the under drawer dresser work. Have a great day. We're already hitting 90 degrees this morning. It's early. The air conditioner has already been on, so it's a good day to stay in. So anyway, it's supposed to hit, I think they said 104 today, maybe 107 <laughs> this weekend. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.